let somebody shout hallelujah. I'm glad to invite us to this prayer service as we're we'll waiting upon the Lord uh, for this prayer service. My prayer is that the Lord will give us strength in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage us, let's bring up in God's presence and let's focus on the focus. We are here to receive strength for the Lord. And I pray as we seek God's strength, the Lord will release his strength unto us in Jesus' name. I'm reading from Psalm 105, verse 4. Psalm 105, verse 4. The Bible says, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous work, which he has done, his wonders and his judgment of his mouth. My prayer once again is that God's strength shall be revealed to us through the prayer we are going to offer today unto the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many whose strength had been dindued, has been weakened, the Lord will showcase through his strength in his life or life in Jesus' name. Welcome to his presence in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> This morning, the Lord deserve our praises. The Lord deserve our honor. He deserve our adoration. I want you to begin to express our heart of gratitude to the Lord. God has helped us since the beginning of year 2020. By His mercy, we are able to see the end of the first month the year 2020. By the mercy of God, we were able to see even the month of February in the year 2020. By His grace, we saw the month of March as well. By some common favor upon our life, we are able to see the month of April. God, in His infinite mercy, enable you and I to see the month of May. And by the grace of God, we are celebrating the end of the month of June, even this morning. This is the last Sunday in the month of June. The half of this year had already gone. Let's appreciate him for what he has done in our lives. We have offered several petitions before the Lord in the course of this year and the Lord has given answer to our request. We have passed through several things in the in the course of this year. And one of the things we pass through in the course of this year is the issue of COVID-19. The Lord has not allowed the COVID-19 pandemic to affect any member of family. He has kept us alive up to this moment. I want you to celebrate his goodness this morning. I want you to celebrate his wonder this morning. It has been the Lord who is on our side. And that is why we are appreciating him this morning. And that is why we have both 
goodness will thank him this morning. Bless the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember that we are here this morning to receive strength from the Lord. Strength for the journey ahead of us. We are trusting God for his strength in our lives. His strength in our homes. His strength in our church. His strength in our nation as well. We know that God will release his strength unto us in Jesus' name. I want us to appreciate the Lord this morning. For who we are in Christ Jesus. For who we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 10. The Bible says I am complete in him. I am complete in him. Who is the head over all the rule? An authority and every angelic and what an earthly power. The Lord has made us to complete in him. He has not allowed our life even to be punctured by the wicked one. He has perfected everything concerning our lives. And that is why the Bible said in the book of Psalm 139, verse 14. The psalmist said, I will praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully praised. I will praise you, Lord. For I am fearfully and wonderfully praised. He's talking about our completeness in Christ Jesus. He's talking about our perfection in Christ Jesus. He's talking about honors in Christ Jesus. God has made us wonderfully. He has made us gloriously. He has made us in such a way that when men see us, they will see the beauty of God upon our lives. I want to thank God this morning for who you are in Christ Jesus Christ. Everything about your life is complete in me. I don't know what you have been, I don't know what you have been trusting the Lord for. Bible say it is completed in the law. You are complete in me. Marvelous are your works. That my soul may know right where. Marvelous are the work of God in our lives. Marvelous are his deeds in our lives. Because of the way God has framed us. He has made us perfectly. And that is why the Bible says the Lord was pleased with what he saw. So everything that God created was good. And what, we are the one of we are one of his one of his creation. That God has made in a beautiful way. That he has made in a wonderful way. I want to bless God for that this morning. In the book of Ephesians chapter two, verse five, verse, verse, verse five. He said, I am alive with Christ Jesus. That is who you are in Christ Jesus. You are not dead. But you are alive in Christ Jesus. I want to appreciate God for the life that God has given to you. Through Christ Jesus. Thank God for the life of Jesus Christ in your life. By his life, you are being sustained. By the life of God, you are being protected. The Bible says, Whoever found the Lord, whoever found the Lord, he has found the life and he has obtained the favor of the Lord. Thank God for the life of God in your life. Thank God for the life of God in your life. For the favor of God upon your life as well. 
I want to appreciate God for that this morning. Jesus said, The Lord has made you to be free from the law of sin and even of death. That is who you are in Christ Jesus. God has given you liberty, He has given you freedom, He has given you dominion in Christ Jesus. Right. I want to bless God for that this morning. Jesus said, For the liberty that Christ has given to you. You are a man who has been liberated by the Lord Jesus. I want to appreciate God for that this morning. I am a liberated man. I am a free man. In the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has freed me from every form of chain. He has set me free from every form of embargo. He has slipped me from the consequences of sin as well. Thank God for the freedom of God in your life. I appreciate him for that this morning in Jesus' name. I appreciate for that in Jesus' name. In the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15, the Bible says in righteousness you shall be established and you shall be far from the oppression and for you shall not be afraid. That is what the Lord has said concerning your life and that is who you are that your life is far from the oppression. Your life is far from oppression. And no oppression can come near your dwelling place. No power of the enemy can oppress you again. Let's go for that this morning in Jesus' name. Let's go for that in Jesus' name. When you know who you are in Christ Jesus, the knowledge of who you are will help you to walk in your freedom. We help you to walk in the light of what the Lord has said concerning your life. Let's go for that this morning in Jesus' name. The Bible talk about you. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. So you are a new creature. That all things have passed away. I want to bless God for what the Lord has made you. He has made you a new creature. He has made you a new being. I appreciate God for that this morning. Jesus said, said all things have passed away. The evil occurrence in your family had passed away. Even over your, fa- over your life, over your family, it has passed away. So you are born of God. You are born of God. And I want you to, to, to apply to yourself this morning. That I have been born of God. I am a child of God. And no evil thing can touch my life. Let's go for that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That no evil thing will be able to touch your life in Jesus' name. Because you are blessed of the Lord. You are blessed of the Lord. Lord, and you are born of God. Your blessing of, of the Lord is as a result of being born of the Lord. Look at what the Bible said, the book of Psalm 105, verse 14 to 15. The Bible said, He permitted no one to do them wrong. I see this as a blessing of being born of God, as a blessing of who we are in Christ Jesus. Jesus, he said he permitted no one to do them wrong. It is a blessing from the Lord. It is a blessing of being born of God. It is a blessing of being born again. I want to bless God for that this morning in Jesus' name. It is not by your power. It is not by your strength. Be saved from the onslaught of the wicked one. Be safe from the attack of the wicked one. It is as a result of the, the covenant blessing of God upon your life. 
The covenant of his blessing upon your life. He said he permitted no one to touch your life. And the Bible said he rebuked the king for their sake. He has rebuked the wicked one even for your sake. And that is a blessing of who you are in Christ Jesus. Say do not touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm. The Lord has anointed you. You are, an, you are an anointed man of God. You are another person of the Lord. I want to thank God for that this morning. For the anointing of God upon your life. Anointing to pray for in life. Anointing to receive the strength of the Lord for your life. Anointing to live your life according to God's purpose for your life. Anointing to walk in the liberty that Christ has given unto you. Let's go for that tonight in Jesus' name. I want you to pray, appreciate the Lord once again tonight, this morning, for what the Lord has created you to be. I appreciate God this morning for what the Lord has created you to be. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You are, wonderfully, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. The Lord has created you to be his wonders. He has created you for wonders. He has created you for miracles. I want to appreciate God for that this morning, Jesus. For being created for wonders. God has created you with his gift. So that you could be a solution even to the problem of humanity. He has packaged you with his wonders. And he has also created you to be the hell and all the days. I appreciate the Lord for that this morning. For being created as a head. And not the tail at all. Blessing this morning for that in Jesus. When you pour your heart to the Lord. In prayer of gratitude to the Lord. You are opening the door for strength even unto your life. You are opening the door for greatness unto your life. You are opening the door blessing even for your life. Then I appreciate him this morning. I appreciate the Lord this morning. Even for what the Lord has created you to be. He has, the Lord has created you to be lovers of God. He has created you to be what reflectors of his glory. He has created you to be the reflector of his glory. He said, every man I have created, I have created them for my glory. I have created you for my glory. I want to appreciate God even for what he has created you to be. He has created you for his glory. And he has appreciated him for creating him for his glory. You are actually activating this covenant this morning. You are activating this covenant this morning. Of manifesting the glory of God in your life. Of living a glorious life on this planet Earth. You are actually activating it this morning. You are actually activating it this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has created you for fruitfulness. You are, you are being created by the Lord to be fruitful in life. To be fruitful in life. And even to dominate in life. I appreciate him for that this morning. I appreciate him for that this morning. For God to have created you to be fruitful in life. It means he has a good plan for you. He wants you to make he wants to make you an extension of his glory. He wants to make you an extension of his power. He wants to make you an extension of his blessing as well. And that is why I want to appreciate the Lord this morning. For what the Lord has created it to be the life. And that purpose shall not be frustrated. 
He shall not be frustrated with your life in Jesus' name. He shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. He shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Say the Lord this morning, I am preparing myself, O Lord, for what you are about to do during this prayer that will be your serving for four days in your presence, O Lord. I am preparing myself for you. I am preparing myself for a visitation. Do not allow my my life to miss of visitation. Do not allow the will of the enemy to prevail over my life. So that I will not miss it. I will not miss your visitation in Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Father Lord Jesus. Answering our prayers. Even from Jesus' glorious name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. With the joy of God in our faces, we sing our aim for this morning. No, not one.
speaking to us this morning from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 40 verses 25 to 27. Isaiah 40 25 to 27. To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal? Says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens who created all this. He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is disregarded by my God. Thanks be to God for the gift of his word.
of our praise. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faith, we are saying. Faithful are you, Lord. You are faithful. Faithful are you, And in return, we also love him. When we consider all the wonderful deeds of God in our lives, we can say it with all boldness that we love you, our God. And our prayer is that the Lord will continue to strengthen the love you have for him in Jesus' On Friday, we started a four-day prayer service. The excellence of the prayer service is to launch us into the second half of the year 2020 in the power of God. We will be trusting God for renewal of strengths. 
the track better. So today is the second day of the service. By God's grace, on Tuesday we'll come with the third edition. And on Wednesday we'll come with the fourth edition. I am trusting God on your behalf that you will experience renewal of strength. And in the strength of the Lord, you will forge ahead. The message of Isaiah chapter 40 begins with a sermon to comfort God's people. Bere pe lu ipe fun awon eniyan Olorun lati tu won nina as at the time that the Lord spoke to his servant to comfort his people la koko ti Olorun so fun iran sere ki o tu awon eniyan re nina their word was already shattered and their hope gone. Their situation was that of confusion and despair. And in order to awake their spiritual sensitivity, what God did was to first assert the eternity of his faithfulness. So whatever you may be going through as a person There is a need for you to keep in focus The faithfulness of God in your life Come what may we can rely on the Lord's faithfulness. The God we are serving cannot fail. And because he cannot fail, we his children will not fail. And I speak unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus, you will not fail. So for this message, the Lord will be speaking to us on the topic, you are too special to be ignored by God. When you have an understanding of this, it will strengthen you, and in that strength, you will move on. You are too special to be ignored by God. Let us pray together. Our God and our Father, we are grateful for being so good unto us. We appreciate you for bringing us this far in the journey of the year 2020. Lord, as we prepare to step into the second half of the year, through the power of your word, we ask so God that you will renew our strengths. Lord, I pray you will minister to your people and in blessing you will bless them. Thank you because we know you have answered our prayer. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Our God is a faithful God. And as believers in Christ, this you must keep in focus always. The devil will want to deceive you to doubt God's faithfulness. So as we consider the topic, you are too special to be ignored by God. We'll be leaning on Isaiah chapter 40 and in verses 25 and 26 there we we'll see God who is incomparably great. 
God who is incomparably great. Listen to the word of God. The Bible says, To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal? Says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all this? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name because of his great power and mighty strength not one of them is missing. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God has no equal. Our God has no rival. When it comes to power, our God stands out. When it comes to wisdom, our God is distinct. And when it comes to faithfulness, he distinguishes himself. So in the greatness of our God, according to the passage we read, he created all things. Because our God is great, the creation of all things was not a big thing for him. In John chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible says, God created everything and nothing was created except through him. When we turn to Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, the Bible speaks further that God created everything in the heavenly realms and on her he made all things so out of his greatness he created all things things we can see things we can now see the second thing out of his greatness everything he created. He identified them one by one by name. That is great. He identified each created things by its name. He does not have to refer to a record. He is not keeping record in his greatness and his wisdom. He identify everything by name. And it should not surprise you. He knows you by name. Hallelujah. Amen. The third thing, the Bible says, because of his great power and his incomparable strength, not a single thing out of the things created is missing. This is amazing. Out of all he created, I may both to say, with all our scientific discovery, with all our advancements, it is not everything God created that we have been able to discover. And the Bible says of God, that God God identify each of the created things by name. And not a single one is missing. He does not need to be searching for them. He sees them. He knows them. He knows where they are. 
On the night of April 14 and 15, in the year 2014, 276 female students were kidnapped from their hostel in Chibok. And years after, as we are talking today, about 112 of them are still missing. Be one round twelve, one lot is on. And nobody is able to tell us exactly where they are. The federal government of this nation has not been able to tell us where they are. They are still looking for them. Since 2014, they are still looking for them. On March 8th, the year 2014, 2018. A Malaysia airline flight 370 was scheduled to fly from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing with 227 passengers and 12 crew members and mid-year the plane disappeared. For three years, they were searching for them intensively. The best of hands were employed. And for three years, they could not locate where they are. The search for this plane was considered to be the most costly charge for missing plane in aviation history. With all the money and the resources that went into it, as we are talking, no one has been able to identify the exact place where the plane is. But I have come today to let you know that the cheapest guests may be missing on our radio as a nation. But as far as the radar of God is concerned, they are not missing. The 239 people in Malaysia flights, they may be missing on the aviation radar. But as far as God's radar is concerned, they are not missing. And let me tell you something. Your file may be missing in the office where you submitted it. And for years, they might have been searching for for it. But I've come to tell you as far as God is concerned that fight is not missing. Your your, your application may be missing in the cabinet where they kept it. But as far as God is concerned, it is not missing. The sickness in your body, you might have taken it to several hospitals. Hospital people might have not been able to identify the source of your sickness. They might have tried several medical devices and yet the cause has not been identified but I've come to tell you today that as far as God is concerned the cause of that sickness is not missing and as we lift our voice unto the Lord in prayer today every good thing that is missing in your life it might be your fire it might be your application it might be 
the condition of your head. Today there shall be divine intervention. In the name of Jesus. So nothing is missing in God's fire. Nothing is missing in God's presence. And this takes us to the second step of our message. In Isaiah chapter 40, Isaiah verse 27, the Bible says, Bible, Oh Jacob, how can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? Oh Israel, how can you say God ignores your rights? And I want to tell you that whatever you are going through, you are too special unto God to be ignored. The same question that the Lord put across to the Israelites is the same question the Lord is asking you. So I could hear the Lord asking you right away that my son, that my daughter, how can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? How can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? How do you come to the conclusion that God has ignored you? Yes, it is natural to think this way. Most especially when one is overwhelmed by crisis and trouble. But our crisis and our trouble they are not justifiable grant to think this way. To think this way means that we are doubting the integrity of God's world. In Hebrew chapter 13 verse 5 the Bible says I will never fail you. I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. This is the word of God. But when we think the Lord has ignored us, when we think he does not seal our trouble, in essence, we are doubting the integrity of his spoken word. And the implication is this. When we doubt the integrity of God's word, we are doubting the integrity of God himself. And God will never be pleased with anyone who doubts his integrity. Because our God is eternally committed to his world. He is a covenant keeping God. He loves you. He cares for you. He knows who and knows what you are passing through. He sees your trouble. He is concerned about your pain. And this morning I have come with a message of hope. And I am hopeful in the Lord that this message will spring courage in you and this message will strengthen you that your spirit will be lifted I have come to tell you that you are too special to God for God to ignore you you are too unique unto God if he, he infested the life of his one and only one son on you he so much loves you that because of you his son Jesus Christ he went to the cross there he suffered 
There he laid down his life. All because of you. You are special unto Come God. And Come and say after me. So I am special unto and God. Too special to be ignored. And I pray for you. In the journey of life. You will not be abandoned. You will not be ignored. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Your pains. And your troubles. They are all known unto God. God is familiar with your disappointments. He is familiar with your frustrations. And I've come to tell you this morning. God's help is on the way. And it will no longer be delayed. As our God lives, none of his good promises will be missing in your life. I want you to listen to the word of God again. This God that we are serving is too powerful, is too wise, and is too faithful to ignore you and to be unaware of what you are going to. I want you to stand onto your feet. As you stand onto your feet, I want you to begin to appreciate God. Appreciate God because he loves you. He cares for you. There is nothing that is going on in your life that is missing before him. So I want you to celebrate God. As you step into the second half of the year, Nothing is missing before God. He has gone ahead of you. Let God be celebrated. Let me be worshipped. And as you celebrate him, I want you to confess over and over. I am too special unto God to be ignored by God. Where you have raised the question that the Lord has abandoned you. Where you have raised the question that the Lord does do not see your trouble. Go ahead and ask for forgiveness. Say God, I am sorry for doubting the integrity of your word. Lord, I'm sorry for doubting your integrity. As you seek for forgiveness, I want you to sing this song. He is able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. He is able. to tell God. I believe that you are able and abundantly able to take care of my needs. There is nothing I am going through that is beyond you. I want you to confess that. Confess it in prayer. Yes, Lord, we confess this morning. That there's nothing we are going through that is beyond you. We confess that you are able. We confess that you are abundantly able to take off our knees, to minister to us, to deliver us, to set us free. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, you are great. We confess that you are great. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, 
we have prayed. Lord, who Jesus, like I want you to confess like the psalmist. The psalmist says, I will sing of the mercy of the Lord forever. I want you to take notice of that. For how long will he sing? For how long? Forever. Some of us, out of ignorance, for lack of faith, will sing of God's mercy when things are going on fine with us. And in the midst of life challenges, we stop singing. But as for Sammy, he said, oh, I will sing of the mercy of the Lord forever. And with my mouth, will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Know that the Lord has been so faithful unto us. He is faithful unto you. He is faithful unto your family. The reason why you could make it to this day is because of his faithfulness. So I want you to go ahead. I say, God, I confess your faithfulness. I confess your faithfulness. And like the psalmist, I also will sing of your mercy. And with my mouth, I will make known thy faithfulness. Let that be your confession. And let it become your prayer. Yes, Lord, we worship you. We declare you are faithful. Lord, we confess today that we will sing of your mercy forever. When the going is good, with us. And when the going is not good, we will sing of your mercy. And with our mouth, we will make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I receive for you grace. 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 That your praise will not be ceasing. Huh? But it will be always. Receive the grace in the name of Jesus. That forever you will sing of the Lord's mercy. And I pray for you. The mercy of God will not cease in your life. You will see after me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, on the authority of your word, I confess that because of your great and incomparable strength, not a single thing out of your entire creation is missing before you. Oh Lord, on the authority of your word, I confess that because of your great and incomparable strength not a single thing out of your entire creation is missing and because of this my God and my Father every good thing that is missing in my life by the reason of divine intervention Father locate them for me open your mouth and pray that if you understand it, you will pray it. What the wicked have stolen, what they have hidden, that you have been searching for, the peace you have been searching for, the joy you have been searching for, fruitfulness you have been searching for, capacity for production you have been searching for, that they have kept away from you. 
mama. My God and my father. Papa, me at your lawn. Wherever they may be hidden, it is. Let it be located. Ask the Lord to search them so out for you. Lord, Please, I want you to pray that Yo, way. What the wicked have stolen? What the wicked have stolen? What they are hidden? What they have stolen? 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 they cover e yi ni ti won bo and kept away from you ti won ti won ti gba lowo re as the lord almighty so for olorun alagbara search them out e wa won ri fun mi search them out e wa won ri fun mi search them out e wa won ri fun mi search them out e wa won ri fun mi in jesus name we have prayed lagbadura hallelujah amen hallelujah amen in second kings chapter 6 si we awon ba keji ori kefa verses 5 and 6 ese ikanu ati kefa Second Kings. Iwe awon ba keji. Chapter 6. Ori e kefa. Verses 5 and 6. E se ikanu o e kefa. The Bible says. Bibeli wi pe as one of them was cutting down a tree. O si se bi enikan tin ke itigi. The iron axe head fell into the water. Ake yo sinu omi. Oh no my lord. He cried out. It was borrowed. Oh, my Lord. Oh, It was borrowed. Maybe your situation is similar to that of this man. Borrowed thing. Has gotten lost in your hand. And you have been looking for it. You have been searching for it. And you have not been able to locate it. I speak in the power of the living God. The Lord will step into your situation. The Lord will search it out. The Lord will bring it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In verses of the passage The Bible says, The man of God asked, Where did it fall? And when he showed him the place, Elisha cut a stick. Elisha and threw it there and made the iron to float. This could only be God. It is easier for the iron to pull down the stick. But for stick to bring up iron the law of gravity has been suspended. I speak concerning your situation. Every human law shall be suspended for your sake. There shall be a searching for your sake and there shall be a bringing forth for your sake. In the name of Jesus, you will cry unto the Lord. Every good thing missing in my life, things I borrow, things that are on loan, that got lost in my heart. My God and my Father, I rise in your power. Do something about it. Open up and talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. He is the mighty God. The one that does what no one can do. He will do it in your own case. In Jesus name. Maybe you are listening unto me. You have invested into a business. You invested money. You invested your time. You invested skill. But you do don't know where the investment has gone. I want you to cry unto the Lord. Father, you must locate it. Everything, Everything I put into this business, where it has gone to, my God and my Father, the same me. way you brought that axe in, my investment must come back. It, it has to come back in multiple foot. Open your mouth and pray it in the name of Jesus. Father, we cry. Papa. All our investment that has gone down into the drain. 
Lord, wherever they may go to, whoever might have robbed us of this investment, Father, we pray, you will search them out. Lord, you will bring them out. Lord, you will search them out. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lord, you call Jesus, like Badura. You are listening unto me. On thirty, see me. You have a particular sickness in your body. Oni a isa kane pato la guara re. You have gone from one hospital to another one. Oti lola ti le ile wo isa kan resi le wo isa mena. They have put you under several machines. Oni ru ru a mwe ro ni wati fisi a ye wo re. Yet they've not been able to diagnose the exact problem you are having. Si be mo ti si a wari iso ro to oni ye ne pato. The Lord will give attention to your situation. Olu o fi akiesi si oro re. The fine healing will come. It was not okay. Why you sell it? Supernatural deliverance will occur. It was let you let but you walk on your sell it. You will lift your voice unto the Lord. Oh, be on the so case. You know, Father, this sickness. Baba, I saw you. This ill health I, I ye, that has been there for years. That the enemy is using to rob me of my money. Today, Loni, trace it to the roots. Trace it to the foundation. And to the root, Father, destroy it. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray it. Ill hurts. Every stubborn hurts. Sicknesses that your children have taken from one hospital to the other. The medical people, they have tried and tried and tried. And yet they've not been able to track the source. Today, let the blood of Jesus flow. Let the blood of Jesus flow. Let the blood of Jesus flow. Let there be healing. Lord, I pray that the old or strange hurts shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Tana Father. Blessed be your name. Yeah. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lord, you call Jesus, like Badura. Paraventure, your own case. Oh, say, say, or not today. Is that of the one who hears salary? Oh, yeah, tell me, don't go with you. You hear salary. Oh, ba, oh, oh, oh. Not that money is not coming. Ki is a poor woman, wale. Money is coming here. Oh, won't wale wa. But you can't just explain where the money is going to. You see, the enemy we are dealing with is a terrible enemy. But no matter how terrible the enemy may be, the power of the enemy shall be destroyed upon our lives. So you're going to cry. My God and my Father. That strange hole that the enemy has dug. That the enemy is using to siphon my money. Let the blood of Jesus block it. The power that is stealing my money. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume it. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that that experience must come to an end. The experience where you will take salary, you will sell market, and you will not be able to explain where the money is going to. It has to stop. It must stop. In the name of Jesus. Pray unto the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Like Badura. I was told the story of a little girl. I saw it. Oh, my dear, be nice for me. This little girl took her father to a crusade ground. Oh, my dear, be nice. He moved about the lossy. He saw you. Tag bang bang. The father. Has lost the two eyes. Baba, he is a padan who you make it. He could not see with the eyes. Ole, for you now, you know, ma. And it was this young girl that have been taking this girl, this father, this man from one place to another. Be o don mande beni yi lo tin ton na baba re lati bi kan lo si bo mina. So she took the man to the crusade ground. Ni tori na o mu baba lo si no e papa e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e
of the crusade, he told the girl, take me there. And the girl took the father there. When they got there, the Lord singled that blind my heart. In the midst of crowd, thousands of people. The Lord singled the man house. It was that gay that brought the man to this podium. And instead of speaking to the man, the man that was ministering spoke to the gay. He asked the gay, what happened to the eyes of the man you are taking around? Kilo oju baba to fakakiri. And the guest started crying. O mana bere si soko. I was not the one. It was our people in the meeting that asked me to bring the two eyes. Ebi meko o e meko ni mo fa o a mo elegbe wa ni nu elegbe o na ni ki mo oju baba meje jiwa. The same girl that removed the two eyes was the same girl that was taking the man around. If there be anyone, if there be any evil spirit that have gained access unto your life and they have taken something precious unto you, we are Wherever they may hide it. By the fire of the Lord. I command them to be restored. In the name of Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Wherever they may hide it. Be it in the graveyard. Maybe in the well. Maybe in the well. They have cast it in the ocean. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I command us to be restored to you. In the name of Jesus. You are going to cry. My God and my Father. May there be restoration. Restore my head. Restore my strength. Restore my peace. Restore my joy. Open your mouth and pray. Hey. Are you praying? This trouble must cease. This pain must cease. The second half that I'm stepping into. I receive your peace. I receive your joy. I receive, joy. I receive restoration of strength. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before I pray for you, I want to ask you Was there a time you surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? And since you have surrendered your life to Jesus, how devoted are you? The Lord wants to help you. He wants to pour out his spirit afresh upon you. But he requires of you to be committed. I want you to go ahead and give God your commitment. Give God your commitment.
stand upon the truth of your word today. Trusting you that in your power and in your incomparably great strength that nothing is missing before you. Father, whatever might have been considered missed in our lives wherever they may be located. Father, we pray Baba Agbadura there will be restoration restoration of strength restoration of hope restoration of peace restoration of joy in the name of Jesus the needed strength to forge ahead. Father, grant unto your children that henceforth your children will not doubt the integrity of your word and they will not doubt your integrity. Thank you, Almighty Father. As we step into a new week, I commit you into the hands of the Lord Almighty. In the hollow of his hand, you will be saved. You will be secured. You will be protected. All your effort during the course of the week shall enjoy divine blessing. The eyes of the Lord will be upon you to keep you from evil, to deliver you from accidents, and to save you from calamity. The wicked will not rob you. They will not subject you to trouble. Go in the power of the living God and do mighty exploits. Thank you, Almighty Father. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God the Father, Amen. and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. rest and abide with us even now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.